Hey guys, we are back with another video. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is spring clean week. We've already done our primers, our foundations, our bronzers, our liquid illuminators, and now we're getting ready to hit blushes. Um, I've already decluttered some of my blushes, but this is out of control. This is 47 blushes. I want to at least try to tackle and declutter a third of these. So a lot, some of these are duplicates. Some of these I totally love. Now the ones on the end, I, when I say 47 blushes, I only counted the blushes in those Makeup Forever palettes. And I think um, I definitely need to separate some and maybe depot them and put them into a palette. No, I'm not. I am not going to do that. I have found out that palettes, um, except if they're small, like the NARS one works well for me. If it's in a large palette, it doesn't. But I really, this is my uh, blush collection. And to be honest with you, I need to condense it. So let's just jump right in. Let's start with the ones that I know that I'm going to keep for sure that I absolutely love. And that is, I can tell you right now, my favorite blushes of all time are NARS blushes. This is the Domination palette, I want to say. The Virtual Domination palette by NARS. This is limited edition, but I love the colors in here. This is Deep Throat, Sex Fantasy, and Final Cut that's in here. And then Liberty and Laguna. I love this palette. This going to stay. Um, these NARS blushes here, I have Taj Mahal right there. And you know what? Let me turn on the lights. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so that's Taj Mahal. Have nothing like this really in my collection, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Fervor palette. I love that. It's such a beautiful berry and a like a like a peach shade. I love it. I believe these were limited edition too, but I really do like this. Keeping these. Then I have in the minis, I have Golay. It reminds me a lot of the shade Sin. Keeping that, and I'm keeping Orgasm. I'm gonna keep that. So there are some shades that are like Orgasm. So let's go ahead and see if I can declutter those. And are there any like? I think I've already decluttered the ones that look like orgasm. Whisper of Guilt, and this one is called Precious Treasure, I think. Pleasure Model. Gonna keep this. There's no way I am getting rid of that. So, yes. Oh, this is the one I think that's kind of like um, orgasm. We can declutter that one. That one's by IBY. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. This is a pressed mineral. And it's in peach sheen. I love this, but it's too much like orgasm. So I'm going to declutter that one. I am also going to declutter one of these. This is one of the, let's see, 12 hour blushes, Amazonian clay by Tarte. And it's in the shade Feisty. I have two of these, so I definitely can get rid of one. Another one that I think I'm going to get uh, to keep. This is Toasted Almond by Black Radiance. I love this. My girl CJ, it looks like I've never touched it. I have used this so much. And although this one is very close to it, there's no way. This is this is actually the from the Taraji Glow, uh, the Taraji and MAC collection, that collaboration. These look, well, this one's a little bit more reddish, but on camera, they look very much alike. Let's watch them. Let's see. Oh, you know what? The MAC one is way more pigmented. But, um, yeah, we're going to keep both of these. I'm going to declutter Tarte Exposed. It's just, you know what? This one is so hard to... Well, it's picking up what on my finger swatched. Such a pretty color, but I do feel like I do have some other shades that's kind of like that. So I am going to declutter that one. going to keep the NARS. This is in Dolce Vita. 
This is the liquid, keeping it. Anything NARS, I'm keeping you guys. Another, these are other ones that I really do like, and these are the Love Flush by Too Faced. I am gonna keep these. These are so pretty. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. This is one of my favorite, Baby Love. That is, it reminds me a lot of the Tarte Exposed, so I'm not missing too much. And this one is in I Will Always Love You. Oh yeah, kind of reminds me of Orgasm, but I still like it. So I'm going to hold on to these. This is a Makeup Geek. I think I'm going to depot this one and actually put, that's where all my other Makeup Geek are housed. This is in o, uh, XOXO. And I really like that. The reason why I want to keep this one, although it is a lot to me, like this one right here, the reason why I want to keep it is because I'm going to have these go in my kit. When I have a palette like that, I'd rather just like keep my nice ones. I probably need to get a deep berry and then it'll be good, but I'm going to keep this and actually depot it and put it in there. I am going to declutter. This is Rose Champagne. It is very shimmery. It's very light. It's so pretty. I don't know about that. We'll see. This is Mellow Wine. I do. I feel like I have something like that. Okay. We're going to declutter the Wet n Wild blushes. Okay. This one I'm going to declutter too. I brought this back in my collection and I'm going to take it. I'm going to like declutter it again. This is in the Elissimo Bronze. It has a lot of chunky shimmer in it. If you can see that, it's very, very glittery. Going to declutter that. Going to keep both of these. This is from, this is You've Got Me Feeling by Mariah Carey. This is from her collection. This reminds me a lot of Pink Spoon. That, it, that was like the first blush that I ever finished. And so I'm going to keep this. I'm also going to keep Burnt Pepper by MAC. MAC is a, uh, probably my second favorite. And really like that. Okay. Uh, do I want to keep this one in feisty? Let's watch this because I might get rid of it. Never know. Um, feisty kind of reminds me of toasted almond. Um, very similar to although feisty has like it's a muted brown. Um, I don't know, I feel like I have something like this. Let's see. Let's see how this pretty vulgar looks. See, to me they look kind of alike. See these two. This maybe has a little bit more pink, but these two look alike as well as I feel like this one is called Awakening Rose. See how these look alike? Okay, Awakening Rose, I'm going to declutter. I'm going to keep the pretty vulgar one. I have used this one and I actually really liked it. And that one is a little bit old. So I'm gonna keep hold on to this one. I am not doing well in blushes, you guys. Doing better than I expected. Uh, because I'm keeping the pretty vulgar, I don't have any tart blushes. I'm going to hold on to this one. This is the Laura Geller in Tropic Hues. I'm going to keep this one. I really do like, ooh, that's a shimmery one too. That's pretty. Okay, hold on to that one. Laroc. Let's see. Well, this one is Essence. This one reminds me a lot of the other one, too. Oh, that's pretty, though. I 
I like the sheen from that one. I need something drugstore. I don't think, uh, I don't have anything drugstore. Oh, I have two. Okay, I feel better now. This one looks so pretty on. It looks like it's nothing. But this is Prism by Lorac. Kind of chalky looks like it. But it's super light compared to the other ones. But I think, hold on just a second. Is that, no, that's not like, I am going to keep my Becca palette. Got that from Holiday, the Prism. I am going to keep the Kevin Aquan. This is the reason why I put that in because it does have a blush palette in here. But I got it for the sculpting powder. And I'm going to declutter this. I have not used this. So, um, yeah, and I'm going to keep all of these blushes. I do you tend to use these makeup geeks, which are beautiful. Let's see what shade. Oh, that's not, oh, these are two motive. So these are motive. Okay. And this is a Oh, that's an eyeshadow from Shea Moisture. But I use it as a blush. These two look alike. This is I want to say Romantic Rose. Romantic. That's Romance by Makeup Geek. This one is Spellbound. I don't have spring in here or something. Sprung, something. This is smitten. This one is bliss. This one is secret admirer. Let's see. This one, I think that's a motive blush. I think this is English rose in one of, yeah. And um, this is XOXO. I'm actually going to depot this one and put this in here. But let's see how many. Oh, and I'm keeping my makeup forever for sure. These are really great for my kit. Um, so I'm going to keep these. Ooh, so pigmented. Yes. One of my favorite. This is B404. If you are a woman of color, Look at that. Such a beautiful color. So let's see. We have, oh, forgot, totally forgot about this one. This is Wild Rose by Pacifica. I feel like I think I might have something like this. But what I like about it is that it's shimmery. I'll keep that one. I always contemplate that one. So yeah. So we are getting rid of two, four, six, eight. We did not. How many? We had like 47 blushes, you guys. Was it 47? We're only getting rid of eight. I still have 40 blushes. Okay. We might have to go back in and take a look at this. <music> nine out of 47 blushes i did not do well but i just i feel like the hues in these are different I'm satisfied with what I, what I have right now. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. Yes, that's what we, this is what we're keeping. This is what we're decluttering. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.